This is the seasonal stock and ETF report for today, November 2nd, 2022. Let's first take a look at the state of the indices. Today, let's just take a look at NASDAQ. I'm just clicking here and I could have just typed NDX. It is a 30 day opportunity here for NASDAQ made money nine out of the last 10 years except 2021 but it's a very short short uh low sharp ratio i just wanted to look at the 10 year seasonal chart nasdaq looks last 10 years it is a uh, on the trending up but there is a down coming right there this is for the last 10 years what if we go to we have 36 years of data. We'll look at last 35 years. If you look at it for the last 35 years, it is pretty much on an uptrend. There's a little bit of a sideways move right here, which is going to start next week. Otherwise, it's pretty much up. How about last 20 years? Last 20 years, we can see there is this down coming up right there next week. So there is a small seasonal drop next week this time. What if we look at the S&P 500? There. S&P 500 also has a sideways move. We're looking at last 20 years right over there, but otherwise, it is on an uptrend all the way to first or second week of January. I believe our magic date was 11, right there. So we're on uptrend. Let's go and look at opportunities. Top of the list now is Visa with a 216 day opportunity. Sharp ratio of 1.88. It has made 15.52% in the last 10 years. But if you look over here, there's a pretty much substantial drop in Visa right there. What if we buy Visa right there? We get a higher, well, about the same sharp ratio. right there that's avoiding this drop so there's been this drop in the last 10 years sharp ratio is slightly lower but it's about the same it has made 14 percent united healthcare it's always up there mcdonald's these are all long opportunities walmart is a very short eight day opportunity uh, it rises with an average of 2.18%. Then we have a two month Intel opportunity coming up. What do we have at the top of NASDAQ? It's still T Mobile making almost 25% in 218 days. It's been doing that nine out of the last 10 years. It's a huge rise and the date range is today until June 7th. I serve in this monster, monster and Keurig. Northrop Grumman is on the top of the list of S&P 500, the sharp ratio of almost two. I believe this is probably based on what's going on in the world. It's probably a pretty safe bet it's going to keep going up. So this might be a good opportunity right there. It's a 220 day giving an 18.1% uh, return. And then T-Mobile is second. And Visa, uh, what's this one? Everest. I pay 1.23% with a pretty high sharp ratio. However, it didn't work, didn't work last year. It was 
pretty much flat, but other years it did nine out of ten. Tapa Russell. Russell is Lennox International. Um not. And pretty much the same on both share. So look at ETFs. Top of the list, home construction. That's a very questionable thing with all the interest rates rising. It might not follow seasonality, but that's just a guess. Consumer staples. Junior gold miners is a short. Let's see, has it been following seasonality? Look at that. It was going up when it seasonally has been down. That again has to do with inflation, interest rates, and value of money going down. SP Home Builders, Spider, same thing. We don't know if it's going to follow seasonality. Look at that flat so far but it's been rising from mid-october to here this is this year all right this is it for today